It's Madden NFL 23, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Jets and the Silver and Black, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. Under center is a six foot two, 225 pound signal caller, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now a play fake. Rodgers. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Rodgers now to throw. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven.
They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On first down, Rodgers steps away to his left. He's got it at the 15. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the ground with Hall. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Rodgers going to throw. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Jets. Nicole Hardman, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are on the board first here in Vegas. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal. And it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Zerline connects on the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll have Jimmy G calling the shots. Grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago, went to Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. 
Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal? Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 29, Rodgers on the slant. He's got Hardman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Rodgers now on first down. Open man here is Conklin. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Second down and five. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up third and one. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. They'll run with Hall. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 48-yard line. Now Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Rodgers. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, 
great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Options galore here, second and a few inches. And right side, they're going to go option here. Five yards that time, taking it himself, and he has enough for the first. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Rodgers now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit in the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. One more time with Hall. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy being chased and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Jerry Tillery running in there and setting him down but it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage how about right here the difference between let them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal that's absolutely huge with the play he just made and you know he hated taking the loss there on third down So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. This one from 35 yards away. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, Garoppolo. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up.
Garoppolo looks to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Bolden. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Garoppolo. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. 
The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man, complete. It's Jacobs. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Caught out right by Renfro. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to make it fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. So a good job there to kind of weather the storm in that first quarter and come back with their first points of the ball game. Yeah, you hate to be coming from behind early on, but you're exactly right. They took some time, able to move the ball, and now it's back to a 10-3 game. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The New York set to take the field. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added onto their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we wasn't? know that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Getting the football to Davis on an out route, and he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Rodgers, he's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard oh, line after a gain of six. The Jets on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got his man, that's Hardman. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big 30-yard play on third. Well, dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. 
The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Shotgun now for Rodgers. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. To throw, it's Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. And he's going to miss this one. Wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years... My theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Our score 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Myers. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Garoppolo. The open man here, Renfro. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams, 32 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away from evening this one up. And that one needed a little time to develop because he started lined up out wide left. He caught that on the right side of the field. And you're exactly right about the time because that's not going to be a quick developing pattern. 
but also great sight lines for the guy throwing the ball to see a receiver cross his face and his sight line from one side of the field to the other. That usually attracts your attention. If you think he's open, you go ahead and deliver it, as we just saw there. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. And New York set to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On the draw, it's Hall. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Rodgers to throw on second down. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third down and three. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screen. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. DeAndre Carter back deep. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Nineteen seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Over the middle complete. That's Adams. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Garoppolo now. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first, this one from 38. 
Carlson able to put this one through. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for the Jets. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in, because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On second down, Jacobs. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Hardman to return. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, eight-yard return. And the Jets will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Catch is made by Hardman. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Straight ahead is Hall. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 35 on second down, Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. A give running right is Hall. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On second and inches, Rodgers. That's a screenplay here for Carter. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and it'll be third down. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks, and you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now it's Rodgers. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence 
And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Paul ought to give up the middle. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. This Raider defense not giving in. They'll try to hold once more on third and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Nick Bonin, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have retaken a third-quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive 12 plays in length, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a throw here to his running back. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On play action, it's Garoppolo. A pass complete downfield to Renfro. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 
Garoppolo again. That's complete to Bolden. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. And he gets it to Bolden. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Garoppolo. It's caught here by Adams. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he is going to have the Raiders first down, and he was able to get it by plenty, a gain of eight on third and three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And he fires one that's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. You'd think defenses might be a little more prepared for plays like this because so many offensive coordinators, when they get the ball after a turnover, they do like to dial up a deep ball right away. And if I were a defensive coordinator in this league, that's exactly what I would say to my defense before they went out to play. In this case, though, they didn't get the message, and a big play resulted. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 40. Throwing is Rodgers. Throwing for the out route, he finds Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. 
from the 39. Rodgers going right back to Wilson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. On second down, a run with Hall. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. Zerline's kick is up and through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So out come the Raiders. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. 
The offense on third down tonight, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and a mile. Looking deep for Adams. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Oh, a heck of a oh, move. Man. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially, five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now Rodgers. He finds Wilson. Now, he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 33. Running left, it's Hall. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 13-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about a job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. This should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo, and that's complete to Adams. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up third and two. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. On play action, now Garoppolo. Wide open receiver complete. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Hey, 
So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Slant to Adams. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Jacobs. And he showed some fancy footwork on the juke, but then quickly taken down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Let's go, baby. Let's, let's, let's go. Fun. Let's, let's go. The kids the kids kids. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. The coverage good, the pressure good, leads to the sack, and it's third and goal now. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ear. Under pressure, they got him again. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. And twice in a row, the quarterback goes down. This offense needs two scores, not giving up two sacks. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Another goal around now for the Jets' offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Ball again on second down. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll run with Hall. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. On the return, Carter. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So Jimmy Garoppolo and the offense down by 10. A little under 50 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Let's go, baby. Now Garoppolo. A dump off here to Bolden. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And Bolden brings it in, complete. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.